As, as scientists and clinicians, we've been pushed to continue innovating diagnostic testing that has been evolving uh, since the first days of the pandemic and do it in a way that was reliable, resilient to supply chain shortages, and cost, uh, cost effective and logistically feasible. We opted here to, to move away from the conventional nasopharyngeal swab and into a use of saliva as an alternative specimen type. We built off of some, some great work out of uh, Yale to utilize saliva uh, with an alternative processing method that doesn't require a lot of the specialized uh, nucleic acid extraction um, materials and, and steps. And we, we built off of that and uh, came up with new, new ways to uh, scale up that workflow in the laboratory as well as ways to collect those samples with inexpensive, uh, readily available materials like a simple straw and tube. These are the same straws that we're, uh, we're used to drinking soda out of. And so the, the sample itself is just saliva that's pulled in the mouth and uh, provided through the straw into the tube. And this doesn't require any, any special handling beyond that. There's no preservative in here. It doesn't even require cold storage. And the whole kit uh, costs less than $2 and uh, again has easy, easy to source components. It's not a commercially available test um, or, or one off the shelf. Um, but for, for those partners that, we've, uh, that we are working with, we have, uh, we have developed home collection kits or to-go kits. Here, innovation was really being pushed by the needs from our partners uh, in, in the community to get access to, uh, to testing where, where we really needed large-scale uh, broadly implemented screening and surveillance programs in the community.